Hello everyone, in this video we're going to focus on the trick on how to determine the signs of trig values. The sign that we're referring to here is either positive or negative. So the question would be, what is the sign of the cosine on the third quadrant? Is it positive or is it negative? So there's a trick to this. The magic statement is, all students take calculus. Okay, what does this mean? So first we have the word A that's on the first quadrant. So we're gonna go ahead and say A here. And then we have students. The first letter for that is letter S. So that's for the second quadrant. That would be S right here. And then T is the next uh, letter. That's the third one. It would match up on the third quadrant T. And then calculus, the first letter is C. And so that would be on the first quadrant. What does this mean? So when we say A, this means all of the sine, cosine, and tangent are positives on this uh, quadrant. So it's going to be positive. Now, if we have on the second quadrant, it starts with letter S. So only the sine is positive. Now, the rest of these, the cosine and the tangent would be negative. So they're all going to be negative except for the sine. So in this third quadrant right here, it's only the tangent that is positive. The sine and the cosine will be negative. So both of these will be negative and then the cosine would also be negative. For the fourth quadrant, it's only the cosine that is positive while the sine and the tangent are negatives. Now, there is another mnemonic that we can use here. We, uh, aside from all students take calculus, others would want to use this. Okay, others would want to use this in order, in order that they can determine the signs of trig values for each of the quadrants. All science teachers crazy. So pretty much on the first quadrant, all are positive. On the second quadrant, it's only the sign that's positive. Cosine and tangent are negative. T, this, that's the first letter for teacher, that would only be tangent that's positive. Sine and cosine are negative. C, that would be um, on the fourth quadrant, which is the cosine positive. The sine and the tangents are negative, so they all match up. So you can use any of this um, statements here, all students take calculus or all science teacher crazy. Now let's have an example to see um, how this works. So let's have this one right here. So what is the sign of the value of, let's take for example, sine theta in the third quadrant. So we're looking at the third quadrant. Again, that's first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. So on the third quadrant, the sign is negative. Now on the next problem right we can actually test this. So we are, remember that the third quadrant starts from 180 all the way to 270. So I have a calculator right here. Let's test if it's really negative. If we get a value of, uh, if we get a degree that is between 180 to 270. So if we want to try the, let's say, sign, um, that's going to be 200 because that's between uh, 180 to 270. Uh, so sine 200, it doesn't matter what the value is. We're concerned about the sine. Is it positive or negative? So the value is negative. So if we take 250, so that's the sign of 250. Again, the value is negative. Again, we're not concerned about the value of the the exact value of the uh, sign, but we're concerned of the sign. Is it positive or is it negative? If, so if we have 267, uh, so sign of 267, we're expecting this to be a negative value. And so it is negative. Now let's move on to the next one right here. Tangent theta in the fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant, the tangent is negative. So let's test this. So if we're going to test uh, 280, so that's going to be tangent 280, the value here should be a negative. So let's see, that's a negative value. So if we have a tangent 350, and then the value for that is again negative. So let's try another one. So if we say tangent of um, again, this is fourth quadrant, so that should be from 270 to 360. So if I have tangent um, 300, 
5.7 and so the value for that is negative because that's the tangent the value for the tangent all of the tangents in the fourth quadrant it doesn't matter what angle that is they're all gonna get negative at this time i would encourage you to pause this video and try these three problems out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we start with cosine theta of the second quadrant. Second quadrant, the cosine is negative. And then for tangent in the third quadrant, it's going to be positive. And then for the sine theta in the first quadrant, all of them are positive. By the way, this one right here is, uh, this. It doesn't, it doesn't mean A plus, but this means that the sine the cosine and the tangent values would be all positive. So I'm just going to write that positive right there. So all of them would be po uh, positive. So the sine of theta in the first quadrant is positive. Did you get the same answers for numbers 3, 4, and 5? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.